28 февраля 1988 года прошел заключительный матч Олимпиады в Калгари между сборными СССР и Финляндии. Команда Виктора Тихонова досрочно завоевала золотые медали и в этом матче решалась судьба серебряных наград, прежде всего для сборной Финляндии. На 11-й минуте первого периода финны открыли счет. Отличился Янни Оянин. 1-0. Against Lomakin. 
just think they don't take it very seriously. They have a good time and they they just don't get up for any games except the game against Sweden and they do that every every game they played a tie here against Sweden. They're a little fortunate here. They had the one good game and that was against Canada. And they want beat that to beat Canada 3-1 and destroyed Canada's hopes. And they're kind of just looking now at a silver medal. Here's Starry Cop. A shot and an excellent glove save by Tommy. Well, Starikov, maybe they're waiting for Starikov to score. They want well, everybody to have a goal. Let's set up Starikov. What in the world is Starikov doing up that that high uh, in the zone? Look, just now, here's Larry Alnop. Nice little pass. Starikov's right there. That's a defensive defenseman. Here's Batisov to Karutov moving in. Shoots wide in the short side. Here's McGillney, who's back out again on this line. Centers to Larry Alnop. Shot and a stick save there by... The Finnish goaltender. Soviets, Kosatonov trying to center it. And shot away by Susi into center ice. Larianov to Mugilny into Karuta. He's bumped on the play by Vertinen. Mugilny into the corner. Trying to make a play. Shoot, scores! The youngster Mugilny ties this game up for the Soviet Union. A shot from an almost impossible angle. Squeeze through. So McGillney gets himself a goal here. Well, Let's take a look at it. He just walks out of the corner. He doesn't even look for the pass. He just shoots and he catches the right pass. На седьмой минуте второго периода Могильный, который оказался на льду вместе с Ларионовым и Крутовым, отправил шайбу с острова в глав ворота. Один-один. Семионов центр. Come to the point, panning on a big slap shot was Dusara. And here's Keskinen hitting a man on the fly. Layani moves in and shot it wide. Actually, it was Lightning that was streaking down that left side. Now Twinisto a shot right on and a good save by Milnikov. Gary Elaranta back to get it. Elaranta to Twinisto. Picked it up, races in, Starry Cop checked in. Now Keskinen in front of the net. Elaranta shot. Milnikov to save. Elaranta again trying to center. Gary Elaranta still with the puck. Now Milnikov a glove save. And he held on to it. Now Fatisov. Teams at full strength. Here's Larianov. Moving in. Karutov closes in. Shoots. Rebound. Both stopped by Tony. The finished goaltender. And back comes Oyana. Tries to center and Milnikov. Cleared it into the corner. In there to get it again is Oyana. Centered. Milnikov this time will freeze it. And we're down to 6.36 to play. Mogilny has scored here in the third period for the Soviets. And fanning on it was Makarov. And it comes back into center ice. Here's Biakin. He just made a great defensive play. Now moving in offensively. Tommy the save. Centered. Yashin trying to get it in front. Gusarov at the point. And on left wing for Yasha. Moves in. Semyonov a shot wide of the net. Now the Soviets can't hold it in and Sushi clears it out of there. 1-1 the score. Finland on a power play. Elaranta shooting it in on right wing. Digging in is Lightning. Build a cap a shot at the open net. They score! Lightning! For Finland. Mugilny come out and stumble, fall down, knock it over the board. Susi shoots it, it comes off of Mugilny. Emilnikov right out to... За минуту и 40 секунд до окончания матча после ошибки Сергея Мыльникова Эрки Лехтанин забросил шайбу. 2-1. Finland about to hand the Soviets their first defeat of these Olympics if they can pull this 2-1 lead. Back comes Makara. Cutting in. Centered out in front. Batisa to Makara. To Larion off the Patisop, side of the net, the rooftop in front, Makarov, shot, sprawling save by Tumi. 
the Finnish goaltender. Well, Makarov has been non-existent this whole hockey game, and all of a sudden, somebody turned him loose. Did you see him fly over that line, Brad? In the middle of that shift, Tikhanov called off Mugilny and threw on Makarov. What great passing. You say you can't turn it up and turn it off. Look at this as they all over the fence, and Tomey comes up with a big save. Soviets want a tie in this game. And Sweden looking in, looking on with nothing they can do about it. Well, they've had their tournament. 30 seconds remaining. And the timeout has been called here. Back in the history of the Olympics, the Soviets have played five games in which, four games in which they've lost, and one tie. That's an immense record, of course. The losses twice against the United States, and in both times that they lost against the U.S., they also did not win the gold medal. Is that Karutov there? A whack around the eye. They've also lost to Canada. That was back in 1960 on the team that Harry Sinden played on, the Kitchener-Waterloo Dutchman. And they lost to Czechoslovakia in 1968, 5-4. And the one tie was against Sweden in 1960, a 2-2 tie. Hey, we have some unfinished business. First 30 seconds in this game. You guys didn't pick a coach of the tournament this year. Well, in my mind, it has to be taken off just simply because this team has turned around from what we saw. He's got a difficult team to coach at the best of times, but this team has, uh, you know, has been under fire by members of the team. Uh, Larry Onoff uh, had a lot to say back in the fall, back in December. You know what? I, 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 I'll agree with you because of how dominant the Soviets have been, but I still don't think there's a finer coach in this tournament than Dave King. And I won't vote for Deacon enough because he doesn't talk to the president. <laughs> Just right. kidding, Victor. He talks, but you got to get that dictionary. 30 seconds left. Finland leading 2-1. Six attackers for the Soviets. And a face-off in Finland's end of the rink. And this big crowd rooting for Finland. Larry Onoff on the face-off. Gets the draw, but Finland able to clear it out. And having to hustle back for Tisov. Good play there by Twimisto to get it out of the zone. Now Lariana, bumped by Twimisto and knocked down, and then Kasatonov attacks Twimisto and bumps him around, and now Lariana after Twimisto. And he used his stick on him, too. Well, he took a couple of shots across the back of the head up along the boards. Larianov usually a rather even-tempered individual, but up along the boards, trying to get that puck over the blue line, and Twimisto nailed him twice in the back of the head. He took exception. Tomisto came in and hit Lariano, knocked him head first into the boards. Watch this. Thank you very much. There came Casatona. Keep an eye on Lariano up here. If we go a little farther, he wants to go and have a. Now we're not going to run any farther. Now 15 seconds left. Finland leading two to one. Soviets have already won the gold medal. Long shot at the open net. Misses the net, and Kasatonov back to get it. Eight seconds left, and the Soviets will get another face-off in the finish end of the ice. Well, an interesting situation. I, I'm going to be very interested to see who takes the draw here, because Larionov, what the weakest part of his game is his face-offs. And they're going to let him take the draw. Quite often in these situations, they'll move Karutov into the face-off circle, but he's not even on the ice right now. He's got that eye problem. Eight seconds left. Finland come up with the puck. And here is the same guy, Tomisto, clearing it away. That's going to end it. Finland defeats the Soviets 2-1. to one. And Finland wins the silver medal. The first medal they've ever won at the Olympics. And look at the reaction down at the net. They just pile all over their goaltender. I guess he'll take that. He's had a pretty good game. Milnikov had to play very well on the other end of the ice. Those guys coming off the bench could have been the toughest save or the toughest stop Toby's had to make. Now, does that look like a man who just won a gold medal? There's the coach, Pente Matikainen. Just shaking hands with Igor Dmitriev. 
But he, there, he's not very happy with the way his team finished off this tournament. They owed a little more, I thought, to Sweden. Сборная Финляндии одержала победу над звездной советской сборной и впервые в истории завоевала медали Олимпийских игр. А сборная Советского Союза, несмотря на поражение в последнем матче турнира, в итоге выиграла золото. Эти золотые медали стали последними в истории хоккейной сборной СССР на Олимпийских играх. Спасибо вам за просмотр. Если вам понравилось это видео, то ставьте лайки, подписывайтесь на канал и увидимся в следующих видео.